Here is another consequence of Cheva's theorem. Suppose you have a triangle, and this is its incircle, and these three points are the tangency points of the incircle and the three sides of the triangle. Then, if we connect each vertex of the triangle with its corresponding tangency point on the other side, do these three segments always intersect at one point? Let's see if we can answer this question using Cheva's theorem. Suppose we label the sides A, B, and C. Then, this segment here would be semi-perimeter minus A, this segment semi-perimeter minus B, this one semi-perimeter minus B again, this one semi-perimeter minus C, semi-perimeter minus C, and semi-perimeter minus A, where the semi-perimeter S is of course A plus B plus C divided by 2. So Cheva's theorem says that this line, this line, and this line intersect at one point if and only if S minus A divided by S minus B times S minus B divided by S minus C times S minus C divided by S minus A equals 1. But you can see that in this expression, S minus A cancels with S minus A, S minus C cancels with S minus C, and S minus B cancels with S minus B. And so the whole expression equals 1. Therefore, these three lines always intersect at one point. This point is called the jargon point for the triangle. Here is the optional problem. This is a triangle, and this is its circumcircle. Of each vertex of the triangle, we've constructed a tangent line to the circumcircle. So this line, this line, and this line are all tangent to the circumcircle, respectively at this point, this point, and this point. We intersected these tangent lines at this point, this point, and this point, and we have to prove that this line, this line, and this line intersect at one point. And here's the solution. Consider this triangle. This circle is its incircle because it's tangent to all of its sides. And therefore, this line, this line, and this line intersect at the jargon point for this triangle. And hence, we're done.